Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Suite. Today we're going to be taking a look at the screener and identify the coins that we could probably trade in the week to come. But before we actually dive deeper into the technicals, I want to direct your attention to the FX Suite VDIP channel. If you enjoy the content that we put out and want to stay updated, then please make sure to the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. You can follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto. If you like what I do, you can also follow me on Twitter at Manjeko with a zero at the end. Right, so back to the screen, right? Uh, as I explained in uh, the previous videos, every Mondays we take a look at the screener and identify the coins that have potential to pump, right? Uh, the, the most important thing to look at, at least from my perspective, is volume. A spike in volume often indicates uh, the opportunity uh, that you can kind of seize in the trade. For now, we have the top three coins that we're going to be looking at is hot. Chili's and FTT. Okay, there was FTT, but now there's Gala on top. Uh, so let's take a look at how the daily active addresses have increased quite a bit over the last 24 hours, which is really good. Social volume has increased over the past day as well and has been increasing since the week. But the MVRV for Holo, 30 day MVRV is already up 63%, which means a lot of the short term holders are in profit. And the, the one the one year MERV is still in the negative in the opportunity zone, which is which is good from a long term perspective. So that's that's what's up for hot. And next we have chili. The same thing, the reactive versus increased, uh social volumes also increased, and the MERV hasn't increased a lot. So there's there could be a good opportunity. There could be still a lot of pump left for this coin. Same here for FTT. Uh so yeah, let's take a look at it from a technical perspective. Let's take a look at what. Right, so uh, right off the bat, I have marked off this uh, resistance level here. We are on a three-day chart. Mark this resistance level here at 0 0.007. And the the recent up up uh, the recent uptick here, or uh, for the last three days, the coin has rallied 33 percent and is currently getting rejected by this resistance level here at 0 0.0074. So what I can expect uh, going forward for hot is a retracement to this level here at 0 0.0055 and then a move higher. Consolidation, if this 0 0.0055 level holds, then you can expect the price to move higher. As for the upside, there's not a lot of upside here. You could, you could from 0 0.0074, it's a 22% upswing, but if we're lucky and we get a retracement down to the 0 0.0055 support level, the run-up would be a 66% upswing. So it all depends on how this, uh, how it reacts to the 74 and the 55 between these two levels, basically. If the retest holds at 55, then you can expect the price to go back to 74. And if we get a flip of that, then 91 is the next level to the profits in total. You're looking at a 63% upswing if you're going to just to 55. So that's that's my take on uh, Holo. Take the looking pretty good. Assuming, so if I were trading this, this would be my setup. Yep, so basically I got 2.85R trade. Yep, so anywhere in between this rectangle here is where I'm expecting the retracement to stabilize and uh, trigger a run-up for follow or hot. Cool, so the next coin for discussion is FTT. So from a weekly time frame, you can see it's already at this resistance level here. If I were to mark this out, it would be something like this. But if I'm going to use a rectangle, it would extend from roughly $51 to $53 is the next level of resistance. And as you can see here on the weekly time frame, the current weekly candle is already kind of getting rejected around here. There's going to be a little, uh, little bit of struggle here. As you can see here, uh, when the price actually broke below that, there was a struggle to try to move up, but it couldn't. Same thing took place here. So 
for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait from a weekly time frame perspective. This is a, the RSI is above 50, above the 50 uh, level here, which is, which is pretty good. The awesome oscillator is kind of forming a base. So the awesome oscillator is a momentum indicator. It indicates uh, the momentum, uh, or to put it simply, it indicates which part of the, the camp is in control if it's the bulls or the bears, right? If you see a lot of these red uh, bars here, it indicates that the bears are in control. A move below the zero line here indicates that uh, indicates that the bulls are like running supreme. Right now what's happening is the momentum, there's a fight uh, to take control of uh, FTT and it sort of feels like it's bottoming around here and the recession of this uh, as we go towards the zero line here indicates that uh, the the bearish momentum is waning and the bulls are trying to take control. So once we get a crossover above the zero line here, then you can expect the price to go higher. So with that in mind, I think for now, if it all depends on what Bitcoin is going to do, if Bitcoin retraces back below 46k, 45k, then there's a good chance that Bitcoin is going to head down to 42-ish level here. Uh, and that would be, would not necessarily be a bad thing because it will allow FTT to retrace to the 46.3, 46.4 support level here. And consolidation here, followed by a flip is where you want to enter a long position or like start filling your spot bags. And beyond that, we also have, beyond that, it's 64. And then 73 on the all time highs. So basically everything depends on how FTT reacts to the 53 to 54, 51 to 53 uh, resistance level here, right? So if Bitcoin continues to uh, keep going higher, then you wait for a flip, you wait for a flip of this level, then a consolidation that uh, this resistance level needs to hold the consolidation. Once that is confirmed, you can enter long here with your stop losses somewhere below the support support level now, and long it up to 64, 73, probably 85. Either way it works, right? What really matters here is this resistance level extending from 51 to 53 dollars for FTD. So this is the bull case. If if we get a weekly close below 46, then it, it would only happen if Bitcoin's lost 42k and it's heading back to probably 37k, 36k, 35k. In that scenario, FTT will retrace for to 37 and 39. I'm not going to say it's not possible and it's not unlikely because it is possible and there is a chance it could come down and it completely depends upon what's going to happen with Bitcoin, which in turn is dependent on what's going to happen with the, the indexes, which is a uh, the NASDAQ and the uh, S&P. So yeah, everything is uh, extremely correlated right now, especially Bitcoin. Bitcoin is correlated to the indexes and a lot of altcoins including FTT is correlated to, highly correlated to Bitcoin. So whatever happens with Bitcoin happens with altcoins. So with that, uh, I'm gonna conclude the analysis for FTT. A weekly close above 53 or a flip of 53 resistance level would be your indication to go long and a retest and a hold of 51 50 46 dollars would be a place where you want to accumulate positions and then wait for a flip of 53 again to get a confirmation of the option if we lose 46k 46 dollars uh, on a weekly time frame then there's a good chance price is going to head back to 39 40 dollars where you can wait for the price to consolidate and then make another new high. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my analysis for FTT. The next coin is Chili's.
All right, so Chile is, is looking pretty good here, uh, moving above this support level here on the weekly time frame. Not only did we get a weekly close above that, what you have to watch now is for the price to stay above this resistance level here, which extends from 0.24 to 0.26. All right, so as long as this level holds, then I'm expecting the price to go higher, reach 0 0.34, 0 0.35, and then eventually make a move towards 0.45. Yep, so 0 0.33 and 0 0.42 are the, uh, the high time frame levels that I'm looking at. As you can see here, this 0 0.42 level serves as a good support level back in October and November 2021. Once that was breached, we never retested that. Again, same thing happened here. Price breached, retested this uh, support level here, so for 0.24 to 0.26. Hit a resistance at 0.32, same, try to go above it, failed, to trace back. Same thing is happening here again. We've reached below this uh, support level here from 0.24 to 0.26. Retested it, try to make move higher, failed, try to move higher, failed, try to move higher, failed. And the, the candlestick on 27th March, the daily candlestick, is what actually caused the, uh, the price to push higher, which is, uh, which is bullish for now. So I, I want the price to hold above this 2.24 to 0.26 support level once uh this level holds uh you can expect the price to move to 0.33 which is the first target beyond this we have 0.42 so yeah that's that's my take on uh chilies another outlook that i think is possible uh i just noticed this right now is the price could directly instead of free testing instead of consolidating above the support level here the price could continue pumping and then come back down to test this, which could give rise to a head and shoulders pattern here, with this being the left shoulder, this being the right shoulder, and this is the head, right? In which case, if you do measure this, you're looking at a 50% upswing for chilies, which puts it at roughly 0 0.50. Right, but then again, this is extreme speculation. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty to it. Regardless, uh, what I'm going to be looking at is a retest of 0.33 or like a consolidation below this for the price to move up to 0.33 and 0.42. If we get a weekly close again, if if the, if we not manage to hold above 0.24, then we can expect the price to head down to any of these levels here, which is 0.21 and 0.20. Yep, there was a triple top setup formed here, so. There is quite a bit of liquidity resting below the body of the candle around here. Right, so there's a good chance we could come down if the, the current support level here at 0 0.24 to 0 0.26 fails to hold. And that pretty much sums up the analysis for the coins that we took a look at from screeners, which is Holo or Hot, Chili's and FTT. If you enjoyed this session, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.